Hi everyone, it's Mike here from Mike's Megabits. Today I'm just going to show you really quickly uh, a, a quick little uh, tutorial here on how to check out the MTO, the Mineral Titles Online website for British Columbia. For those of you in BC that are interested in checking out where you can maybe dip a pan and, and try some prospecting without jumping somebody's claim, or you can see where the claims lie and decide if you might want to stake one yourself. So let's start with Google. I've already got a favorite in, in my browser, but for you guys, I'll show you how the easiest way to get there probably through Google. So just type in MTOBC, and the very first one that's listed there is the Mineral Titles Online for the Government of British Columbia. So let's click that. On the left, view placer tenures, sorry, placer tenures. All this time I've been doing this and I still can't get used to saying placer instead of placer. I'll try my best to remember. So I've clicked the, the link on the page for view placer tenures and the map page came up. It'll just pop on your screen and it'll show you a very small and undetailed map of British Columbia. Now, how we'll start here, just right away at the top, you'll see just under, it says British Columbia, there's a picture of a little hand. Let's just click that. Um, this allows us to drag the map. If you just hold down the left button on the mouse, you can, uh, you'll see as we zoom in here, we'll be able to drag the map around and uh, it'll keep us from clicking on something we maybe shouldn't for now. Quickest way to sort of jump into this probably is um, looking for a location that is near you. I am in Vernon myself, so one of the hottest locations around here is Monashi Creek, which is actually just out uh, near Cherryville, a little ways away, but one of the closer areas. So how I would look for that and how you would look for a location near you is to find location. You'll see it up here in the top in the blue bar. I'll just click that. And it gives you a bunch of different sort of genres, if you will, of where to look. I like using place, la place name, which is sort of near the middle here. So let's click place name. And easy as this, Monashi. I'll just type it in. Gives you a option on how much you want to zoom in on it. Let's pick 25 kilometers. That, that'll be the, the scale of the map when it comes up. Let's click OK. Gives you an option here of different, different places that have the word Monashi in it. And for our demonstration, I'm just going to click the creek because that's where I want to look. Take a second for the, the map to refresh. And when it comes up, it'll refresh at a 25 kilometer zone on the map of Monashi Creek. Now, here we go. This is basically uh, a pretty good size scale map here right now that we're looking at. It'll show uh, a lot of territory here. Since we've already clicked a little hand at the top here, if I hold down the left mouse button anywhere on the map, I can actually move my mouse and drag the whole map so I can look at a place that interests me, get a better view of it. I'll just let it refresh again. I think the website might be a little bit busy tonight or maybe they're doing some maintenance that seems to be taking a little bit for things to load. Down here at the bottom of the screen, you'll see where it says scale, 44,208. Um, this gives us a pretty good look overall, but we are zoomed out pretty good here. So you can also type in a different number here. You can play around with it, see what kind of size of the screen. You will find yourself putting in different numbers here to zoom in and zoom out. Let's, for interest sake, just put in 20,000 now. We'll zoom in a bit. It comes in handy if you want to see more details. This map, as you get into it, you'll learn how to um, see the roads, road access, uh, things like that. So now we're looking at a string of claims here on Monashi Creek. Um, obviously, you don't want to go in here and start panning on any one of these pink areas because you will be a claim jumper. What you can do um, is look for an area that doesn't have a pink square on it showing that it has a claim. Um, for instance, this area right here, there is no claims on this sort of uh, tributary or runoff creek here. 
you could technically go out there and dip a pan in this area below these claims because it is unclaimed as of now and you can try it out and see what's up see if there's something going on there um, but just not in the pink areas that are already claimed uh, of course unless you know the person that owns that claim and he gives you written permission that's probably a good idea if you want to get information about a claim um, or even information about any cell and by cell I mean these uh, you'll notice there's squares all over this whole page outlined in red those are called a cell if you just click this identify visible if you just click that and then click on a cell it will load the information for the cell in the right hand area of the screen if you click on one of the actual claims it will show you the uh, along with the other uh, cells it'll show the cell ID um, it'll show also information about the tenure or the claim holder so you can see that the tenure number is here the issue date the good to date the claim name this just happens to be mine um, the area in hectares it's actually a double cell claim so you can click information on any one of these claims down here and see uh, the information for the claim in particular on the right hand side um, you can click again like I said you can click on any cell anywhere in, in this whole map of all of British Columbia to get the information on the cell a, another handy thing to check out is the legend click the legend at the top here it'll give you the color codes for the different things that you're seeing on the page um, it gets a little tricky some of the colors are quite similar so s sort of splitting them out especially the yellow uh, is hard to kind of figure out exactly what it might mean but uh, I mean right here you can clearly see that the pinks are claims and the rest is not so for uh, all of these colors the yellow the pink the brown the grays um, they signify certain areas and in the map here they call them layers so if you click on this layer at the top the layer link at the top it'll give you a selection on the right hand side you can choose to add or remove layers um, from the map to make it clearer to see other features if I unclick reserves and then refresh the map it will remove any of the reserves that are there so uh, and by reserves they don't just mean um, native reserves there could be also national park reserves or other reserves um, set up as well for various different reasons so um, we won't go into that too deeply but uh, it can get a little confusing but this is just to show that you can actually click here to add or remove different layers I'll also remove survey parcels here which um, I'm personally not exactly sure what that means but you can remove them from here and you'll notice that the creeks will now jump out a lot more you get a clearer view of the map here and these dotted lines along the top here actually show uh, forestry roads and stuff as well so gives you a really great way to see deeper down to the map and and not have a bunch of stuff laying on top of it blocking your view so um, I hope I was able to cover at least the basics for you to be able to look at the MTO site and maybe uh, get an idea of where you can go exploring without jumping somebody's claim and without getting into an area that you're not supposed to be even if it's not claimed and um, I'll have probably some more videos as we go on showing um, information on how you can even stake a claim through the website. Um, but you can also get help with that actually at the BC Service Centers uh, closest to you. They were very helpful at the office in Vernon here. They actually um, would have even helped me make a claim on the website uh, at the location if I wanted to. But uh, I linked my credit card to my BCEID number and I was able to do them at home through the website just like you'll be able to uh, if you do the same thing so that's it for now uh, I hope you got something from this video and uh, if you like the channel please subscribe thanks for watching